is Mark. Uh, been working here at Sunshine Village since 2003. Uh, originally from a small little farming town in northern Alberta called Lamont. And I work on the snow safety department as an avalanche forecaster and the assistant supervisor. <laughs> My average day uh, at Sunshine here uh, starts pretty early. We're at the drying room at 6.30. And then we come up to the office and look at our weather forecasts so that we can see what's been happening on the mountain overnight. Uh, with that information, we'll come up with a forecast and a plan for the day to decide what terrain to open, what will keep closed the day, and what we can open with uh, some mitigation, either using ski cuts or avalanche control. We'll have a morning meeting and talk about the hazard and what our plan is and then we'll go out for the day usually in teams of two to three and try to get our missions for the day accomplished so we can get train open as quick as possible like Blirium Dive and the Wild West and the South Side Shoots and the Shoulder. Well, the pumpkins are already going final one, eh? Yeah. Hey, we cleared to go in from the top and check out one of the sun ready. get a little bit nervous about some of the stuff we're doing. It's kind of likening to jumping into a snake pit and pulling tails. We try not to get bit, but occasionally it does happen. So it can be a little nerve wracking, especially when we're forecasting for high avalanche hazard to try to avoid having an incident in the hill. I was walking along a corniced ridge with an explosive and I was several, several meters back from the edge thinking I was safe. And as I was walking along the ridge, I stepped on to the snowpack and the cornice broke but peeled back several meters and pulled me with it and I ended up hanging on the edge of a 500 foot cliff on the crown line and my partner actually helped pull me back up. That, that would be definitely a really close call. There are a number of dangers and hazards and risks that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Explosives being a big one, but we have all kinds of policies, procedures, and guidelines in place that help us track our risk management and make sure we're falling within our risk boundaries. But we're often ski cutting in places that are no-fall zones. A no-fall zone would be typically a fairly steep start zone in an avalanche path uh, with a cliff underneath. So by no fall, we mean no fall. And I have to say the great thing about Sunshine is we have optimum support from management. We don't get pressured to open terrain. And that does happen in other operations, other avalanche world projects. You get a lot of pressure. We don't, and that is amazing. Um, because that added pressure definitely would make for more sleepless nights than necessary. Yeah, that's fair. I said, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop talking to me. Stop, So my average day is uh, getting up pretty early. Uh, well, I should probably say that again, not my forehead. Avalanche <laughs> terrain. Sorry. Sorry. 